So still bulking and today is a push day. And in the spirit of the bulk, I have on my Chris Bumstead anti-skinny bitch t-shirt. Uh, future five-time champion this year, so make sure you follow that. Now, I do start off both of my push days with this lying Y-raise variation. And I understand that like you might not want to do this at your gym. Like Lay on the floor and, and do this isn't necessary. I would uh, pull a bench over here and put it right here and just, just raise those up and I'd lay on a bench and do it except for the fact that this gym has these cables on the exact opposite side of the gym as the benches. All the benches would be the farthest corner away from this one in the gym. And it is a packed gym. There is like a lot of equipment in the way there. So instead of dragging a, a bench all the way over to the cable stack, I just lay on the floor. Right into this shoulder press, seated shoulder press. This is just about picking up the heaviest dumbbells and pushing them up over your head. Uh, you want to keep all the focus on the shoulders, and I do have an incline in there, but the, the heavier your shoulder or dumbbells that you can press, the bigger your shoulders are going to be. These are 75s for my top set uh, of about 8, and then I back off after that to the 65s and do a, a set with about the same amount of reps. Now, for those of you that like to bench press, and know that the bench press is like the, the exercise that the most people get injured on, give this a try. This is a dead stop flat machine, uh, Smith machine press, but I had the, uh, the stopper set about two to four inches above my chest, so I'm not going the whole way down, and I make sure that I stop it there. You don't have to rest, you don't have to pause, but you have to make sure that the bar comes to a complete stop. That prevents any unnecessary stretching and any rebounding by the chest, and it, it's just way safer than letting the chest or the barbell bounce down and off your chest and using momentum. Right into these uh, pec flies, you'll see that I have my, my butt forward and I'm, I'm sort of, this is all feel, right? This is what feels the best for me. I can feel the best pump in my chest if I keep my butt forward a little bit so that my shoulders are going up and back and I'm focused on driving my biceps into my chest as hard as I can. And it's just biceps into the chest, biceps into the chest. That's the whole exercise. Today I'm doing these cable lateral raises. You'll see that I'm the cable's coming forward in front of me. That is me trying to get on that frontal plane where I'm trying to keep my uh, arm out in front of me just because it's healthier on the shoulder than going straight out to the side. If I wanted to, I could put the cable lower and I could put it between my legs and go straight out to the side. Uh, I'm still uh, sort of feeling these out. You can see I'm hitting myself with the cable, which isn't ideal. I don't like the fact that the cable is hitting my abs as I'm doing this. That might just be because I have a thick gut. I don't know, maybe I'm fat. We're gonna finish the workout up here with some rear delts. I do like how slow and controlled I'm doing this. Uh, this is about squeezing the rear delts. Any rear, rear, rear delt movement it, that's focused on just the rear delts, you're gonna want to do like pump sets. You're not gonna want to do like these heavy like rocking sets because you're gonna get your whole back in that. It's not gonna be just the rear delt. You, I mean, you hit the rear delts when you do rows. So you do hit the rear delts, but if you're trying to isolate the rear delts, you wanna do these slow methodical uh, squeeze sets.